All right. Ignore the buddy in the background squ squawking because he's in his cage. He's not happy. Um, for those of you who watch my videos for a long time, you pretty much know stuff about me. Uh, those who just joined, you don't know. So I do a quick about me video. Uh, I have been collecting through the mail. Uh, was it 35 years now or so? Um, I started when I was about 22, 23, just on my own. Um, I, don't, I honestly don't know how I got started. I collected autographs. I, I do know that. That's why I started first. My, my through the mail autographs. Um, I wrote a lot of soap opera stars because I was watching uh, Days of Our Lives faithfully. Then um, politicians. Uh, actually got a real signature of Jimmy Carter and Rosalind Carter. Um, that's when I wrote uh, everything by hand, too. So, did that for a long time. Uh, the first autograph, I'm, by the way, I'm answering some questions I got on one of my videos. Kim, thank you very much. Kim asked me f uh, five questions. I'm going to try to cover them all in, all in this video. Uh, the first autograph. I don't remember. Uh, I remember the first couple. Well, I mean, early on, I remember getting Jimmy Carter, uh, Kristen Alfonso, Days of Our Lives. I remember hers because, you know, I was new. I didn't know anything. And so I asked her if I could start a fan club for her. And she sent back an 8x10, which I was very happy for, black, white, 8x10, and a little postcard size. Um, picture and a handwritten note note said thank you very much I appreciate you watching uh, but I already have an autograph uh, a fan club here's her address blah blah, blah. so got that one uh, Charles Shignossi he was also on Days of Our Lives got him early on uh, Ed McMahon uh, who else did I get don't remember at first Anyway, um, so I collected for a long time, uh, several years. Then I started collecting for myself and my little brother. Uh, I have a brother who's 21 years younger than me. So I started collecting some stuff for him. Uh, didn't, didn't pan out too much. I just got a few of them. But I never gave them to him. Don't tell him. I don't think he watches videos. Uh, so then... I tapered off because I started, you know, working more. I became bus driver, so I was traveling the country, so I didn't really didn't get time to write letters or anything. So life, you know, got in the way. Uh oh, one of the early returns I remember quite well. I've referred to it several times in different videos. Um, is a cassette tape. I sent cassette tapes to Gene Vanderpile, Wilma Flintstone, um, Dick Clark who did the voice of Shaggy, a few other voices. Um, I sent out four or five tapes. I don't remember who the other ones were to, but the the one that I was referred to was sent to... He was sent to my tongue. Um, he does a ton of voices for Hanna-Barbera. Um, he does the Smurfs, Boo Boo Bear. Um, let me see here. We're going to try this here. Voice of Boo Boo Bear. So, I did many, many... Don Messick. Don Messick. I sent him a tape. And he sent back... It was recorded probably 20 minutes to a half an hour recording. Um, he's... It was in a studio when he said, you know, he started out. He's like, oh, who we got in here? And he's like, yeah, here's Baba Louie. And then went on from there. <clears throat> and then he's asking characters, who's the boss is outside? Oh, Pop Smurf, go get him. Uh, and then Pop Smurf comes in, yeah, yes, can I help you? So it was a beyond the moon type return. So I quit the for many years, then had my kids. Um, I have three girls, by the way, uh, who for a while I collected with. Um, then I 
I geocached with them, which I showed a video of doing. Um, I think I'm going to do a video of things I did with my children that for those of you young children or are going to have children or in the plans, whatever, give you some ideas uh, of inexpensive things to do with children. So then let's see where to get. Oh, Hero Carts probably came next because so, several race car drivers I had sent requests to sent back Hero Carts with requests. In those days, you didn't have to send a big envelope um, because they would just pay for it. So several people, race car drivers, sent them. Um, like, the question, she tried to do a question for each category. Kim's question was, what uh, rare hero cards do I have? Well, I don't think I have any rare ones because back then I only collected the drivers I liked. So I didn't, I don't do like now where I do basically mass mailings, you know, and get a ton of different drivers. So uh, rare, I would say, would be I have a streak of Dale Earnhardt, autographs Dale Earnhardt Senior. For those who don't know, from oh geez, I don't remember what years, but there's like five years in a row that's I get the the hero card every year. Every year they put a new one, and back then they had the same sponsor for all year. Nowadays, as you know, there's different sponsors for almost each race, so hero cards are a lot more than they used to be. Um, oh, I skipped her question. Oh, uh, her question was, if you get anybody's autograph, who would it be and why? Um, it's hard to say. A lot of my heroes, I do have their autographs. Um, heroes are no longer with us. Uh, Harry Truman, uh, President of the United States, ex-president. Uh, Richard J. Daly, Richard M. Daly, both mayors of Chicago, uh, very powerful mayors. Um, I probably enjoy P.T. Barnum. Uh, got it at an auction, $800 I paid, and I'll never forget how much, because it was, it was the first auction that I partook in. And you say, as an auction, you don't think... Oh, gee, I might win multiples. You think, oh, I'll admit win this one. So I bid on everything. Um, and then I I won quite a bit. I won about $3,000 worth. Problem was, I didn't have $3,000. I was just starting uh, autograph business then uh, to buy and sell autographs. So all my money was tied up in stock. And then didn't have money to pay for this. So I had to go to my mother and my stepfather and went in on two. Um, went to my mom, told her what I was doing. Of course, everybody knows mothers. They don't do anything for their children. So she called me up a couple days and she was also one to try to teach things. She says, well, I'll give you $1,000. Well, that was going to help me. And my stepfather would give me 2000 and it's an, a loan. I said, that's fine. I'll pay you back. Um, don't know if the 1000 was ever paid back. But the 2000 I did pay back um, a couple of years later after I started another company that was doing well. I paid him back his money. Because the autograph business, it lasted a while. Probably two years I did it. Um, but then... The Letters of Authenticity, Certificates, certificates of Authenticity came out, and I stopped dealing because all the new collectors were like, I want a certificate, I want a certificate. And I tried to explain to people. I used to give them in locker rooms, and I had connections everywhere. I said, you know, I have no way of authenticating it. I will stand by it. I'll give you your money back if you ever want to get rid of it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But... I'm not going to put a lot of authenticity when I'm not even sure it's authentic. I'm sure, you know, I shouldn't say that, you know, they it matched autographs that are out there, but 
I couldn't for say that. I didn't know what the chain of custody is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, uh, Hero Curds, Autographs should cover those two. Um, theater programs. Uh, start collecting theater programs. And her question was, do you ever get a theater program where you don't know the cast? Well, to be honest with you, 70% of the time. Um, obviously, I won't get a program request. Request program? Huh. I don't know why. Whenever I get on camera, I start to yawning. Um, I'll request the program. Some plays, obviously, the main character I know or the main couple might be celebrities, you know, semi-celebrities, whatever, from Hollywood. So I'll request those, and then the rest of the cast, I have no idea. And there's some that I request basically the last few years because I found Broadway was was doing this pre-pandemic. -pre um, I request them, even though I didn't know anybody in the cast. Kind of like that hope that maybe someone in the cast will hit a big and I'll have their early autograph. So, anyway, I tried that. Um, sorry, I'm kind of, I started in my mind. I want to do this in a word, but I'm kind of bouncing around because I'm remembering different stories, different things. Uh, talked about my autograph collecting. I picked it back up when my kids were young. Uh, they were still basically toddlers or below. And I started collecting just for them. I asked for three autographs. And I explained they were each my daughters. And yeah, I got some Nisa ones. I got one very nice one. Lot, what, it was nice. A lot of stars personalized them. So I had three notebooks I was keeping for them. Um, and one of the, the funny things was, I think it was Mail and Albright, Secretary of State at the time. I didn't know this, but she was a twin. I have twins. So, as I mentioned, in two twins, you know, I have two twins, blah, blah, blah. And she, I was like, the, on uh, my letter, she wrote back that she's like, I'm a twin too. And she wrote on the twins from one twin to another. So it was pretty nice. I got those, still got those upstairs. Uh, I think, I think my oldest took hers when she moved out. <laughs> Um, my kids are all old, by the way, now. Oh, I, I say old, but uh, they're all teachers, and my oldest is going to get married in, next year. So um, so then in August, I, I continue on for that reason. Um, and then they got to the age where they're like, ah, damn, I just did this. So I, I switched gears. I enjoyed getting the stuff in the mail, so I kept getting it for myself which led me to fan packs fan packs I discovered I don't know why I was on YouTube looking for stuff but I discovered this collector which if you ever collected it, if you've ever collected fan packs you've probably watched his videos um, he was in Canada and he must have been in the early days of fan packs because he used to always, always get a box. I mean, it was very rare a team sent him just a, an envelope or something. He almost always got boxes. I, I remember this one from the Dallas Cowboys he got. was It was a huge box. Um, I think that one was a clock. I've been, been a long time since watching the videos. But some team sent him, one team sent him a clock. Um, teams were saying jerseys, you know, all sorts of stuff. Uh, because not many people fan pack back then. It was probably something new. So he, he used to get a ton. But I watched his videos and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'd like to get that. Oh, that's cool. You know, I did the typical uh, fan pack mentality. So I started right teams. Oh, excuse me. Um, the first fan Mac I got, I don't remember. And by the way, there was no question from Kim about fan packs. Um, I don't remember what the first fan pack was. 
One of the early ones, I remember I got the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, they sent me Media Guide, which has led to my uh, love of Media Guides and Press Guides. Um, but I remember getting this thick book. I remember it was a big box, and I was so impressed because that was the biggest box I'd ever gotten. And now it's probably it's still up there, but it's it's a ways back. It's probably twenties. But uh, I thought this is great. This is fantastic. People send me stuff, and all you have to do is write them. So I went after that for fan packs. I started doing heavy. Uh, got a lot of different stuff. Sports. Did, basically did what every fan pack person does. I copied the videos. Um, I mean, as far as who to write to. You know, someone would get... Uh, uh, I'm trying to look for something. Uh, someone would get Adidas. And right away I'd write Adidas. They'd get Polaris, which is, which is a good one. So if you ever get Polaris, uh, ever stew fan pack, Polaris is usually pretty faithful. But I write to people, you know. Then led more fan packs. I got to know some of the fan packers. Um, we had our heyday. I say had because nowadays fan packs become very competitive. Uh, if you curious about that, don't know what I'm referring to, uh, I have a video on my channel about the uh, state of the fan pack industry and that, that covers it all. I'm not going to get into the whole thing now. Um, the latest I got into is patches. Uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter is the only one that actually likes basically junk. <laughs> I like to call my stuff. Um, but she was the only one that actually got excited about getting stuff in the mail. The others, when we get the fan packs, I was still doing. I was starting off with, with them and me. Um, the autographs, they could care less. I would get home from work and say, hey, look, we got two envelopes. Yeah, okay, Dad, whatever, whatever. But the oldest daughter, who's going to get married, she was like, oh, let's see what we got. You know, and She wasn't as excited as, as me, but she was, she was excited. Um, and she continued down fan packs, and then we start patches. Uh, again, YouTube led me to it. Uh, I ended up seeing someone else. They got a patch. I read about somewhere. I'm like, I'm going to try this. And it's, obviously, you've seen it's taken off. I've continued to do it over the years. Uh, it was easier than, at least I thought, because I could say, hey, my daughter was interested in this, you know, and me. So it was like the daughter angle was got you into it. But anyway, uh, her question for patches was, what international patch do you want and why? Well, that's easy. Norway. Um, if there's a town, I haven't looked at, into Norway. Um, if they do town police departments, Bergen. Bergen is a city in Norway. Um, my relatives are from just outside of Bergen. So that's where my family comes from. And so I'd love to get that patch because of it. I, in my patch video where I bought a collection, uh, there's one patch in there. And I think, I don't remember if I pulled it out the first time or if it's just mixed in. But Cordial, Georgia. A lot of my relatives are from down there. And I got an older patch of Cordial. So I was so excited. Uh, because the Cordial doesn't do patch trading, as far as I know. Um, but I'll try them again, because this has uh, been a few years, so it might might be different Chiefs. Uh, but anyway, that's all my collecting. I mean, I love to do stuff that's through the mail. Stuff that... The stuff that you can email for and get mailed to is even better. Um, probably a lot of you have the same addiction I do. And it's just love of giving, getting stuff. I mean, just the idea of a company or a police department, fire department, uh, an autograph, you know, a star spend time to do something for you. 
just makes you feel good. Uh, but anyway, that's it. I'm going to close this video up because it's 20 minutes. Uh, if you're curious about anything about me, feel free to drop me a line. And meantime, may you your mailboxes be full of whatever you collect. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.